Hi guys, it's Ella Harp. My birthday is next week and I always like to make myself something fun around this time of year. So this time I'm going to be making myself a patchwork skirt using up a bunch of linen fabric scraps that I have lying around. So the idea of the skirt is it's going to be patchwork. It's going to be in block colors. So it'll be blue and then orange and then purpley. It's going to be A-line shape. It's going to have buttons down the front. And I haven't really done patchwork anything before. So hopefully this will turn out and you guys will end up seeing this online otherwise. <laughs> You'll never see the light of day. Fingers crossed, let's get started. This skirt is going to be fitted at the top and flare out at the bottom. So I'm going to be taking a bunch of these little fabric scraps and cutting them into rectangular tapers. All the little pieces are cut. I'm going to jump in and start sewing this top section together using flat felt seams. The top section is all sewn up and fitting nicely with enough space left over for both the buttonholes and also a little bit of shrinkage. I don't wash my fabric personally before I use it because I know that this particular one that I'm using doesn't shrink very much. So I just cut everything a little bit bigger and then after washing and drying, it fits just right. Size-wise, I guessed pretty accurately for this top section, but if I needed to make it bigger or smaller, I could just add or take away another one of these little tapers. With the top section, I just kind of threw the pieces together randomly, but with this middle section, I've laid them out the way I want them to go and I'm going to sew them down like that. Because each one of these sections is done independently and then sewn together, the sort of curve that's going on right there is important to replicate on each layer. So I have pinned this orange one on. That one is only finished on the outside. I still have to do the felling seam on the inside. And then this bottom panel is just laid out here right now. So I'm gonna go in, now that I know that this middle section is fitting okay, I'm gonna go in and finish off the felled seams on the inside there. And then on this bottom level, I'm going to start sewing these up so that they lay the way that they look right now. All three panels are now sewn. I've gone ahead and pinned the top on both sides for where I want it to be. So I'm going to go and cut off the excess and make these all nice and even. Now these panels are all cleaned up. I'm going to start sewing them together. I'm going to try doing this using French seams. I've sewn it down with the French seam. Just seemed like that might be a little bit easier with all of these edges than doing a flat felt seam. But I am now going to top stitch this little flap down to the orange part of the front skirt so that everything is a little flatter. The 
first seam and sewing it down seemed to work pretty good. So I'm going to repeat that on the next layer. And this one is all pinned up and ready to go. So the skirts are all sewn together and it is starting to look like something. So I'm just gonna do the easiest possible waistband. I'm just gonna fold this over itself, which is how I've had it pinned for a while. And I've decided I'm not going to do anything fancier than that. I'm going to hem the bottoms and I'm also going to finish off this placket here. I'm going to be using thin little strips of extra fabric because these sections are a little bit thin and because the buttons are going to be on there, I want to make sure it's got some extra structure. Now that the plockets are done, I am going to go put it into the washer and dryer. I've made sure I have just a little bit of wiggle room, which should be more than enough for the shrinkage that it'll go through. Hard to tell with these jeans on. I'm going to wait until after that to do the buttonholes because I wanna make sure that all the shrink is out of it before I do that. Another side project for this birthday is adding some fringe and some leather strapping with some copper rivets onto these boots. So I've cut these two leather sections and I'm gonna cut them into fine strips to create fringe. So I'm attaching the fringe onto these strips of leather, which are going to be removable and adjustable via these little buckles that I just made, and they're going to be attached with copper rivets. is out of the washer and dryer and fits nicely. So I'm going to start experimenting with buttonholes. So I've gotten this cool clam case buttonholer. I'm going to be doing this on my Singer 185K. This pretty gal is my portable machine. Meister is down in the back. And so I am setting her up on my sewing table so that I can begin to work with these buttonholes. Bit of trial and error getting the tension correct, but I have a few decent buttonholes that have come through on my test piece now. So I've gone ahead and marked where I want them to be on the skirt. The buttons I'm using scrap copper and I'm pulling out anything that looks like it's big enough and then I'm going to cut that down to size and sand and drill. Little ends from the copper rivets, I'm going to sand down the sharp edges of and then hammer them flat and put little marks to drill. Got everything done just in the nick of time. The skirt is finished, boots are done, necklace and earrings are done, and I'm gonna go off and do birthday things. Thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you next time. Catch you